Hello everyone, it's Young Lee Jr. So, uh, it's a case that's, you know, it's happening in Utah. Uh, it was about, some of you guys might know about this, but uh, Judge Rules Corey uh, Reichens, Reichens, I believe is how you pronounce her, Utah mother, she accused, she was accused of fatally poisoning her husband, um, will actually stand trial. So now, Corey Richens, she was the Utah widow accused of killing her husband with a fentanyl overdose and later writing a children's book about grief. Uh, this was briefly uh, displayed here on um, Law, Crime, and Network. They said it has been ordered to stand trial on murder and other charges. Utah District Court Judge Richard uh, Merzik uh, ruled Tuesday. Now, uh, Richens uh, faces several felony charges related to the killing, including aggravated murder, the distribution of controlled substances, and various fraud and forgery related charges. She's also charged with attempting to kill her husband, Eric Richens, a few weeks earlier on Valentine's Day. Uh, the judge said there was probable cause to try Richens on all 11 felony accounts um, she's facing. Uh, sitting with her defense attorney, the uh, widows show no visible emotion as the judge rules she will go to trial. Uh, Richens has maintained her innocence and she entered not guilty plea for all charges in, on a court Tuesday. So the trial is stated to begin on April 28th. The judge scheduled a pre-trial conference for the afternoons of September 23rd. Uh, death, a children's book about grief, then an arrest. Eric Richens was found dead at the foot of the couple's bed in March 2022. The 39-year-old had about five times the lethal doses of fentanyl in his system. Wow, this is according to a medical examiner. Uh, his wife told investigations investigators at the time she bought her husband a Moscow Mule cocktail in the bedroom of their Camus ho uh, Utah home, then left to sleep with their son in his room. Hmm. She said she returned around 3 a.m., to find her husband lying on the floor, cold to the touch. About a year to the day after her husband died, uh, Richards published a children's book, Are You With Me? About Navigating Grief About the Loss of a Loved One. In May 2023, Richards was arrested and charged with the murder of her husband. A previously ruled Richards to be held without bail due to the substantial evidence against her. Internet searches and some articles found on the mother's phone Focus on fentanyl, life insurance pay on payments, police investigations, how data is collected according to the court documents filed in 2023. Prosecutors allege um, the searches included the uh, phrases, can cops force you to do a lie detector test, luxury prisons for the rich in America. Uh, death certificate says penny, uh, will life insurance still pay? If someone is poisoned, what does it go down on the death certificate as? And how to permanently delete information from an iPhone remotely. Wow. Jeez, yeah. Um, they can use definitely use that in court. Uh, can cause force you to do a lot. <laughs> why, you know? And the thing is, too, why are you searching? I mean, people search whatever they want to search, but in the nature of this case here, um, uh, you searching that. These are very specific searches, you know, can cops force you to do a lie detector, uh, prison for the rich in America, death certificate says penny, well, life insurance still pay, man, that's crazy. But the whole, what's strange to me is that, um, she wrote a children's book about this. Like when people will say allegedly, but you know, uh, she's still in trial, right? Innocent to proven guilty, right? But it's like when these crimes happen, you got people, some people, I'm not saying all, but they want to go ahead and tell their story. Like it's justifiable usually people grieve or i mean do other type of things you know um they wouldn't just be in specific detail and just you know i'm gonna go ahead and write and publish something for so the whole world can hear i mean this is like uh, something of a uh, demonic activity here but you know this is uh this is stand on trial here like i said it's happening in 2022 i've seen little things about this happening uh, they was talking about this man when i heard about this a couple years ago but um it's really wild to me uh this also too reminds me of a case i think it was in germany um it was a wife that was trying to poison um a military member um and you know the husband actually he was poisoning our coffee poisoning his coffee and so he actually uh because he noticed that his coffee was tasting weird and usually you know he he always gets it and you know his wife makes it but now he's starting to realize like wait a minute you know, I mean, his wife's crazy, so he started putting the camera and see what she was doing, and she was putting poisonous substance in it. I'm looking like, man, this is crazy. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, if you don't really like your spouse, man, I mean, I don't condone divorce, but hey, I mean, it's better than trying to attempt to take their life, man. I mean, it's sending somebody to jail. Like, it's really ain't all that serious. You can be like, hey, it's not working out. Let me just move on, bygones. No lawyers involved, no attorneys. We're just going to go our separate ways and move I mean, all this extra stuff is um, it's pretty crazy, man. So, but 
this is um I'll entertain this case during the trial. I'm gonna try to watch some of it too, get some details in it. But yeah, you guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It's your boy Young Lee Jr. I love you guys, man. I'm out.